Hey guys, Brad Scott here with SixPackInsanity.com and I headed over to Push Fitness Lake Tahoe today. They're one of my new sponsors. They're letting me film all of my videos there. So I'm super stoked on that. And today I'm going to show you my full chest routine which is going to help you gain size and really just build your chest up quite a bit. So we started off with bench press and most of my workouts I was doing three sets of around 8 to 12 reps. Uh, bench press, I usually only get about 10 reps out of it if I'm going for size. So I started off with a warm-up set, just a 45-pound plate on each side. And then I added another 45-pound plate on each side. So this is 225 pounds right here. And I repped this one out eight times. Now, sometimes my buddy Angela is a little overly cautious when spotting, um, which is good and bad sometimes. Sometimes I just want to know that I'm doing it all by myself, which I, I pretty much was. Um, but it's, it's nice to know that you got a spotter there if you need one. Uh, and then, then I tried to max out a little bit here. Normally, I'll just continue on with another 10-pound plate. Um, I've got 275 on here, and I repped it out two times by myself. The third one, I thought Angelo helped me a little bit, so I'm only claiming two reps on this one. This third one, he helped me quite a bit there. So, next up, I headed up to the uh, incline bench press. Now, a good tip for this one is you want to make sure you arch your lower back to really stick your chest out. And then it, it's going to prevent you from uh, kind of putting too much pressure on your shoulders and putting more of the emphasis on your upper chest. And uh, same with this one. I'm going to do three sets of 8 to 12 reps. Angelo's telling me to just bust them out. <laughs> and that's good. You, you're going to gain more size if you got a partner because you can just try and get those last few extra reps that normally you wouldn't be able to get. I started off with just a 45-pound plate on each side on this one. And then I just added a 10-pound plate and uh, continued on with my next two reps with that. My upper chest is a little weaker than than uh, just doing flat bench press. So this is one exercise that I'm really working on to get a little stronger. So then decline, decline bench press is one of my favorite exercises for building your lower chest. It really gets that chiseled lower chest look, squares out your chest. And I did, once again, three sets of 8 to 12 reps on this one. And I went all the way from just starting out with a, a, ten, a 45 pound plate for a warm up. And the grip on this, I usually have my index finger on the line, the smooth line on the barbell. So I'm just repping it out. I like to take a 60 to 90 second break in between each of my sets. Obviously, I don't want to just film the whole thing and make you guys wait through my resting time. So, <laughs> While you're resting, just make sure you're kind of uh, stretching out, making sure you're not tightening up. And uh, I went all the way up to a 45 and a 35 pound plate on each side on the decline bench press. And it's a good workout. You guys are going to love it. You really feel that pump. You get all the, <laughs> the blood flow into your face. Really feel this workout. It's a fun one. And it's really going to help you build that chest up and over your entire chest, not just one little section. A lot of guys don't know too much about working out, and they uh, they just try and do some regular bench press and their chest really isn't filled out as much as it could be 
if they hit all sides of the chest. So next off, I did a superset. I did cable flies into decline push-ups. So I'm just putting my feet up on onto a little box and doing push-ups after. And this is one of my burnout sets. I'm going to do one more chest exercise after this to help widen the chest. But this is a great one. This is really going to tone your chest up. And you can gain some good amount of size with it. And it widens your chest as well. You just want to make sure you really feel the squeeze the whole time you're doing this exercise. So then I'm going to head over to do my decline push-ups. Make sure your back's nice and straight. Chest almost touching the ground. And then all the way up. And I like to go till fail when I'm doing these supersets. So on the push-ups, I just do as many as I can. And usually I can't do too many. <laughs> Because after I do my whole chest workout, my chest is just done for. So this is just really going to help you burn it out. And looky here, you guys get to see me with my shirt off. <laughs> We're not really supposed to take our shirts off in this gym, but I wanted to show you guys on the cable flies really how much it puts the strain on your chest and really stretches it out and builds bulk in your chest area. My chest looks like it's been shot by a <laughs> by an air gun or something. It's just all blown up. And I've been trying to work on getting my body fat percentage low enough. I've got some fat burner workouts coming up for you that you guys are really going to like. Here's my last set of the push-ups after. And you can see that I can't even push myself up. <laughs> So here's one of my favorite workouts here called chest pullovers. Now you can do this with uh, a heavy dumbbell as well. You just rest your back over one of the flat benches. And I like to do three sets of 8 to 12 reps on this one as well. And make sure you're really breathing in all the way when you go up and breathing your air out when you go down. And this is going to help pretty much widen your entire body. It works a little bit of your lats, your chest, and also your serratus anterior. So that's a cool work. And you can see how big my chest is right now. It's uh, definitely getting bigger. So whenever I do chest, I usually try and do triceps as well because you're basically killing two birds with one stone. They're both pushing muscles. And the tricep is, is meant for straightening of the arm. So when you're doing any kind of push-ups, bench press, you're, you're basically using your triceps as well whenever you're doing a closer grip. So I hit my triceps right after. And here I'm doing one arm tricep pull-downs. And I switch my grip. So I'll do 8 to 12 reps. Sometimes I'll do up to 15 reps if I want to go for more definition and then I'm going to do uh, basically so I'll do 8 to 15 with my hand uh, facing down and then I'll do 8 to 15 with my hand facing up and when I do it with my hand facing up I really like to extend my wrist at the bottom really flexing that tricep muscle this is a great one for really isolating the tricep. Make sure you keep your elbows locked in. You don't want to move your shoulder too much at all. It should just be your elbow joint moving and really squeezing that tricep every time as much as you possibly can. So I'm doing my sets here. Three sets of 8 to 15 reps with each arm, both front and back so palms facing up palms facing down and then I'm going to switch over to regular rope pull downs so I'm just finishing off my set here and then rope pull downs was my last workout of the day and this is a great one I actually like to do it a little lighter and make sure I really 
pull my wrists apart at the bottom. Hopefully Angelo uh, went down a little bit with the camera here. There we go. So you can see I really pull that rope apart at the bottom to flex my triceps. And uh, please remember, you guys, to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And check out Six Pack Insanity for more workouts.